We have a story now about a long-running tradition here in Corpus Christi. It's the Del Mar College National Drawing and Small Sculpture Show. It's been attracting artists from all over the nation for more than half a century now. We have a look at the show for 2018. The opening night reception earlier this month at the Joseph Kane Memorial Art Gallery attracted a large crowd. Kane was a professor and chairman of the art department, and it was his dream for Del Mar to host an exhibit showcasing the nation's best artwork. There were nearly 200 entries for the 52nd annual show this year, and those were narrowed down to 24 sculptures and 24 drawings. Within drawing, there's a lot of variety of drawing. It's pretty much anything on paper, so you'll have some prints and actual drawings, watercolor, um, uh, a lot of variety when it comes to, to that uh, two-dimensional media. Most of the artists are professionals, but this work by Del Mar student Rihanna Kirkham was also selected this year. It was a thrill for her and her professors. She actually even got honorable mention. So that's always really exciting for us here at Del Mar because it, it shows the, the quality, the level of the work that the students are able to produce. Rihanna plans to become an art professor herself, and this will look good in her resume. Yes. <laughs> yes, this will be very nice. I am extremely honored to be here with all of these actual professional artists. Del Mar art professor Randy Flowers installed the show, which means he decided which pieces went where. He's installed nearly 100 exhibits in this gallery since 1989, and he says this year's show is a good one. Uh, this is a, I like this show. Uh, we have a very strong, the sculpture in this show is very strong this year. He says a big reason is the show was juried by sculptor Dora Nutella. And she went for quality instead of quantity. And there's quite a bit of variety in the 3D pieces. Everything from the whimsical to abstract pieces and impressionistic works with a little bit of steampunk thrown in. For example, this work by Tennessee artist Bill Prince attracted a lot of attention. It's called Goose Gun and it's made of steel, pewter, brass, chrome, and a shotgun. Now, one of the great things about this show is that it is free of charge. There's no admission. It runs through May the 4th in the Joseph King Gallery, which is located in the Fine Arts Center on the Del Mar East Campus on Air Street. The gallery is open to the public from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays through Thursdays and from 9 a.m. until noon on Fridays.